Immersive Reader is a tool created by Microsoft and it is becoming more widely available to use with a variety of different applications. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Immersive Reader with Microsoft Word, the desktop application which you are looking at right now, as well as the online version of Word which you would use through Office 365. So to begin, you can see I have some text on my screen and to obtain the Immersive Reader option, you're going to click on View and within the View menu, you will see something that says Immersive Reader. So you notice when I click on Immersive Reader, the screen changes, everything gets spaced out a little bit. This tool can be very helpful for students who need to have text read to them. Additionally, this can be helpful to students who are in the editing process and are rereading their work and sometimes do not always catch grammar errors, spelling errors when they are just rereading their work where they're having somebody else read it back to them, they may catch additional errors. So there's a number of different options in addition to having this text read to you that you will have in the Immersive Reader menu bar. You will notice over here on the left where it says page color, if the white is too bright for somebody, they can change this color to something a little bit more muted. There's an option called line focus and what that does is it only highlights one or three or five lines at a time as the text is being read so that the reader who is following along can focus on what is being read to them more clearly. You also have an option to display syllables to break up the words via syllable if that is something that you need to have turned on and just by clicking on it again it will disappear. When you're ready to have text read to you, all you're going to do is click on the read aloud button and you're going to place your cursor where you want the text to be start to be read and you're going to have a menu option over on the upper right hand side that's going to allow you to begin your read aloud process. Now you'll notice it will pause at punctuation. However, if you find the speed of the reading to be too quick, if you come over to this little option over here, you hover on it, it will say settings. You can click on settings and you can adjust the reading speed using this little slide tool. You can also pick a different voice if you want a different voice to be reading the text to you. So again, I made some changes here. I put my cursor where I want the reading to begin and I click play. So you can decide what's the speed and the voice that is most appropriate for you. And this is how you would use Immersive Reader in the desktop application. To get out of Immersive Reader, you're going to come back to your menu and just click Close Immersive Reader and your text will go back to the way it was before. So now I have switched over to Word Online. I created this document using Office 365, so I am in the browser and I am using the web version of Word. So the Immersive Reader pretty much works the same way, it's just that the options available are located in different places. So we're going to come up to the view menu again in the online version of Word, and that is where you will find Immersive Reader again. So when you click on it, your screen should change again. It's going to space out everything a little bit. You will notice that there's some different color changes in here, which I'll show you why in a second. The play button to begin playing your text is located at the bottom as opposed to the upper right. So if I click on play. So it will automatically begin reading and you can see the word that is highlighted. That's where it's going to begin reading again. If you click on the tool next to the play button, this is where you have your options again to change your voice speed as well as the voice selection. In the online version, it's just female and male. There are no other options. On the upper right hand side is where you'll find some of the other options available to you that we saw in the desktop application. So if we click on text preferences, which is the first icon, you can adjust the text size here. If you want the text to be a little bit larger, you can increase the spacing between the words and the lines. You can also change the font. That is another option. And then you have, again, to change the background color if it's more pleasing to the eye to have something a little bit more muted, you can do that as well. 
The tool next to it is your grammar options, and this is why some of the text on the page is highlighted because I turned on some of the text options. So if I turn these off, everything will return to black. But if you wanted um, Immersive Reader to highlight all the adjectives, you could turn this on and it would highlight all of those words in the designated colors. You also can turn syllables on here as well. The last option is reading preferences. And again, we had these tools in the desktop version just in a different location. So if you just wanted one line highlighted at a time as it read back to you, you could turn that on. We'll just turn that off for now. There is a picture, picture dictionary that is on. So if there is a word that they have a picture for in their picture dictionary, um, when you hover on that word, it will show you a picture of it and give you a definition. Um, you also have a translator tool, which will be covered in another video. Um, and that's pretty much it, how you would use this. So we're going to close out of this menu option. Once you're done using the Immersive Reader to get back to your document and begin editing, you can just click back on that arrow. It will bring you back to your document, and you are ready to go.